Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. While these children don't know it yet, they are living history. They are the first class to only know school during COVID-19. And while some may be facing setbacks, these hardworking preschoolers will not let it slow them down. ECEC -EC teachers have put in new precautions to keep their students safe while still maintaining a normal class environment. It's a lot different than it was last year. We have to do, um, we have to think about how our centers are, what's in our centers, um, how effectively we can clean what's in our centers, tracking who the kids' partners are and where they sit, um, different things like that. Things may look different from an outside perspective, but to the kids, this is all they know. They think this is normal school, so they haven't experienced it um, before. So coming into school already with a mask on and the things that we do, they'll think this is the normal way of school. This is the way school has always been. Principal Haley Stewart's fourth year at ECEC has looked different than the years past. I think that we, you know, have had to change some of the ways that we've looked at things. We had to change a few things in the classroom, just the setup. As we have grown throughout the year, we've been able to shift um, some of the ways. As ECEC is heavily parent involved, they have had to come up with new ways to include them without breaking any COVID guidelines. We just had to find creative ways to still make the parents involved in their education because we know how important that is. Uh, and the bus driver says, bye! In the years to come, the preschool classroom will adopt ideas brought from COVID. While they may be struggling now, in the future, these techniques will open new doors. Even hopefully after COVID disappears or, you know, our numbers continue to go down, that we'll continue these, these same efforts because what we are seeing are positive changes. Kelly Hutchison, a local kindergarten teacher, is certain that these kids will not fall behind because of the support from their school district. We always have such an educationally diverse group of students that come to kindergarten each year. TPSD, administrators, teachers, curriculum departments, and really everyone across the district worked hard over the summer to receive students in the fall. Um, research shows that reading to young learners builds foundational skills in language and social and emotional development. Students should also be able to spell and write their first name and count objects up to a group of 10. I'm Ari Giorgenti. Double here.